Welcome to the course Electronics at Roots 1, Unit 4. And this video topic is Miller effect and Miller capacitance of MOSFET. Okay, so this is the high frequency model of MOSFET where we are having the input capacitance CGS and CGD is the capacitance that is common between both input and output and GM VGS is the voltage controlled current source and RL is the load resistance. Now, this capacitance effect will be mapped into input as well as at the output. Okay, now, once if you map this capacitance to the input side, okay, that uh, capacitance, we are writing it as a Miller capacitance, CM, in parallel with the CGS, say that uh, CGD will be mapped like a CM at the input side. Now, because of this new capacitance, uh, now we have to analyze what is the effect on the gain of the amplifier as well as the cutoff frequency, okay, unity gain frequency or 3 dB cutoff frequency of the amplifier, whether with respect to CM, what is happening, okay, once if you increase, if the CM increases, what happens to the gain or cutoff frequency or if CM decreases, what happens to the gain and the cutoff frequency. Okay. Now, you know from our previous experience, once if this uh, CGD is uh, mapped as CM, that uh, CM can be written as CM is equal to CGD 1 minus uh, AV, where AV is the uh, voltage gain of the amplifier, okay, without considering this uh, CGD, okay, uh, in ordinary case. Okay, now we know what is the voltage gain of the amplifier in general case, that is V0 divided by VI. Okay, uh, and then minus GM VGS into RL divided by uh, the input that is VGS. Okay, VGS. Now VGS, VGS cancel minus GM into RL is the voltage gain of the amplifier. Okay, now once if we substitute this, the CM value is uh, CGD. Okay, CGD 1 plus AV value is minus GM into RL. Okay, so finally, this is 1 plus GM into RL. Okay, now uh, the CM value is uh, 1 plus GM RL times of CGD. Okay, so okay, now we know what is the value of CM, okay, uh, Miller capacitance. Okay, then once if we analyze the gain of this amplifier with the effect of Miller capacitance, okay, say for example, the current IA is entering, now the CGS and the CM is in parallel that means the current will go in both the capacitance okay so that's why when the capacitance are in parallel okay i can effectively write the input capacitance something like this cgs plus cm cgs plus cm okay now what is the voltage vgs okay the voltage vgs is equal to uh, i into the impedance uh, offered by this capacitance that is vgs is equal to i i impedance offered by this capacitance Okay, combined together is 1 by j omega uh, cgs uh, plus cm cgs plus cm okay from this uh, i i is equal to uh, vgs okay vgs uh, j omega uh, cgs plus cm okay vgs j omega cgs plus gm now you know what is ID, ID means GM into VGS, okay, ID means GM into VGS. Okay, what is the value of ID, ID is equal to GM into VGS. Now what is the current gain, okay, that is output current ID divided by input current II. Okay, the current gain of the amplifier AI is equal to ID drain current, that is output current divided by input current. But now the input current depends on the uh, CGS as well as uh, CM also, okay, Miller capacitance. Okay, ID divided by II. What is the value of ID? GM into VGS. Okay, GM into VGS. What is the value of II? Uh, J omega VGS CGS plus GM. Okay, CGS plus GM. CM. Okay, now the II is equal to uh, J omega CGS plus CM, CM into VGS, okay. Again, VGS, VGS cancel, okay. Once, uh, if you write the magnitude, AI, AI magnitude is equal to GM, okay. GM omega CGS 
plus cm okay so uh, again omega can be replaced by 2 pi f okay 2 pi f uh, cgs plus cm okay now from this uh, what is the unity gain frequency the unity gain frequency is the frequency at which the gain becomes one okay that means uh, at exactly frequency f is equal to ft at some frequency the gain may become like a one that means this is one so ai can be replaced by one then gm divided by 2 pi ft cgs plus cm okay. and then once if you take this ft this side ft unity gain frequency ft is equal to gm divided by 2 pi cgs plus cm okay so again this can also be written as gm divided by 2 pi cg that means the effective capacitance at the gate side cg cg means cgs plus cm or otherwise ci input capacitance input capacitance okay now what is observation here say for example if the ordinary gain of the amplifier decreases okay if the ordinary gain of the amplifier decreases that means what if av decreases okay then what will happen gm and rl will decrease then cm will decrease okay if the ordinary gain of the amplifier decreases then then the miller capacitance will decrease but if, if once the miller capacitance decreases then ft will increase okay ft will increase and again you know ft is also related with the bandwidth so that means bandwidth of the amplifier also will increase okay similarly uh, or otherwise if if it is in the other way suppose if the gain decreases what will happen the miller capacitance will decrease okay so again if uh, sorry once uh, if the gain decreases okay um say again already we have discussed about gain decrease case suppose for example if it goes in the opposite way if the gain increases and uh, then what will happen the miller capacitance uh, will increase okay so then once if the miller capacitance increases then eft unity gain frequency will decrease then the bandwidth will decrease okay from this it's very clear finally if you compare these two okay gain and bandwidth gain and bandwidth if the gain decreases finally the bandwidth increases if the gain increases the bandwidth decreases so finally again the gain bandwidth product is always constant okay so gain into bandwidth is equal to again gain into bandwidth okay this is always constant once if you try to increase the gain bandwidth will reduce or once you try to decrease the gain the bandwidth will increase okay so now we have seen the effect of the miller capacitance okay once if you add the miller capacitance it will have some effect on the ultimately some effect on the bandwidth of the amplifier okay either it may increase or decrease based on the effect of the miller capacitance at the input side okay thank you